Hi everyone, today we will see how to make the simulation of rubber bands. This was possible thanks to Davi in Typhlow group. He was kind enough to share his setup and even more kind to share with me his own file. When I went through a problem of the rubber band self intersecting, this is not a problem of Typhlow but a problem of not understanding how Typhlow works. So I will talk about it and nobody anymore have to suffer with this problem. So let's dive in. So I will start talking about the most important part of this kind of simulation of gloves or rubber or any kind of flexible material. That the vertex of the mesh must be evenly spaced. So you want a very clean uh, geometry. You're gonna see in a bit why. How dense it is, it will sure affect your uh, the properties, how it will look, how it will behave. But to behave uh, in a good way, without no self intersections, you want this to be as even as possible. So a square is the perfect. Now we are need the elements for our tie flow. This is the bit scene. What you're gonna do is to put on tie flow in helpers. You're going to tie flow create tie icon. Also a tie actor. I will center this to my box so you can click here align or alt a and click the object i want to align to the very center and now we're going to rig the actor let's hide the cylinder number 2 and in tie flow open and you're going to Burst surface and click in the cylinder. If you hide the cylinder, you see all the vertex because we create all vertex, so all those particles. They're gonna be used to modify the other cylinder. So now we don't need this cylinder number one anymore. So let it hide forever. The cylinder number two, that's how we're gonna rig our actor. Here you select the cylinder and you will apply tie particle skin and you will select the first flow first because you're gonna make a second one. Any actor you will select the cylinder. So now you can also hide cylinder 2 and these you can turn off so you don't need to see all those particles and you will click in new new you're gonna make a birth let's put zero zero let's put two just for testing we're gonna put actor and we'll select the actor oh. remove all select here and select now it's working but not as we want and now we put icon position icon select the icon it's birth now not in surface but pivot Oh, one aspect that's really important, should mention before, but actor should be aligned to the center pivot. That's why instead of to burning there, it's into the side. So we can align to the center 
and now it will behave properly so cool so we can hide the cylinders here something rotation so you rotate random so when they are burning burning not burning that's with they will burn in a random position but not from zero zero let's put 50 okay now will be the simulation itself first particle bind particle bind this bias is what will create the contraction of the the rubber band so if it's one the binds will stay the same let's if we contract them 0 0.4 let's say you see that's not happening one important thing you should exclude from an animation otherwise it will not work in like a diactor particle now we want to the vertex the, the, the particles to have a bind between them so we need to increase this distance so they can connect to each other so you see that now is happening or the something else that you want to play with values is the max binding and the distance so we'll change the behavior of the clothes other thing that really affects a lot is the stiffness but for here we can we'll modify it further so now it's already working but it's going too fast Let, we can hide this and hide this and next we're gonna put an angle angle bind so it's behaving better now you can play uh, with the filter by angle for example you're gonna change some aspects are stiffness so it's much better now but you see that's not interacting with our main uh, parts in the scene so we will put a collision so it should now collide yes and here is the big struggle you see the band is in self intersecting the struggle is to work around it but not when you know what you're doing and that's the point that I will show here how to understand this first you want to turn on draw collision shapes that when come in handy a uh, very clean surface uh, very clean geometry that in type flow uh, so far there is no intersection between face to face so what it uses those vertex to draw a shape these uh, mini spheres that we change here so if put absolute radius they will act like nothing can pass through them right like all the spheres cannot go through here but if it's like this they can and that's the big struggle that I personally had and uh, I see in the group many people have this problem so you can see here this happening 
but if we put absolute radius or depend of the scene of, of your uh, mesh you can raise it so now if we go it's much better something that also helps the self-intersection is to raise the friction so you put 80% Cool. The collision, you see that it's intersecting here. We can put absolute radius to give some space. Now it's better. Now that our scene is basically working, um, we can turn off, draw the collision shapes. This is just a face is not really touching we don't want that to get too close neither too far so we select our part and put shell not outside uh, but inside and here we can put zero and that's basically it one quick tip, now it's a, let's go to a bonus part that I found a better predictable way to make those birth. So let's move this away. Predictable way that I mean that you know when they will happen now is too fast or too random, but it's fine to some scene here now create a spawn I saw these in the group and I really like uh, spawn not once but per second the scene that we are working here in the standard is uh, 30 frames per second right so if the rate is uh, one every 30 seconds a new one will happen two and so on like 15 frames 30 frames so on so on so on so big shout out to this guy in the group he came up with this scene I mentioned again he helped me to open my eyes about it and I hope nobody have to suffer any further with this kind of problem here thank you guys please subscribe